So here's a new cool new feature. Uh, I'm going to go, I have my comma key here in my light box. I'm going to go into tool. I'm going to double click this dog Z tool, drag it on my canvas, go into edit mode. And if I want to make any changes in here, I can like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and dynamesh this dog down, go in here to BI brush insert, or you know what, go into my comma key, go into brush, IMM, dragon bones, hit M, grab these horns, hit X to go into X symmetry. It will make a, a new dog. We'll redynamesh this. We'll hold down Shift, go into Sculptors Pro, clean that up a little bit. Redynamesh. So we have a new mesh here. Let's go ahead and crank up that resolution just a little bit on our Dynamesh there. Turn off Sculptors Pro. Go through here and just, you know, start making your amazing creation. Much better than this one, hopefully, but you'll get the idea. So we have our object here. And what we can do is we can save this as an image format that will also contain geometry information. So if we go in here to Tool Save As, by default it's going to want to save as a dog Z tool. However, I can go in here and I can save it as a GIF. And yes, I pronounce it GIF. So we're going to save this one as dogsculpt.gif. And you can also go through here and you know we'll, we'll reposition this one to the side here. We're going to go to Save As. Instead of a GIF, we'll do a PNG and we'll call it dogsculpt.png. Now when I go to that folder and I go in here to say view extra large icons and I scroll down, you're going to see here's the GIF and here's the PNG. Now if I right click this GIF and I go into properties, it's 711k, that's actually pretty reasonable. PNG is pretty close as well, uh, but you're going to see it also has this 3D ZBrush and at the bottom of the GIF you're going to have these little white dots. And if I right click this and say open with I guess I'll use X in view. This is the result I get. I can zoom in and you're gonna see, okay, here's a picture of my dog. And then down here, there's a bunch of like little sprinkly white dots in here. And on the PNG, I can look at this and it's got a bunch of like color dot information around it. So what you can do is you can actually upload these images to forums or to your art station page or whatever. And if anybody downloads that GIF, and let's go ahead here into preferences, initialize ZBrush. So we're going to clear our ZBrush session. This is somebody else, someone else, not Michael Pavlovich, but somebody across the world goes in and they download those images that you have posted. And you go in here to load tool and you grab either the GIF or the PNG, doesn't really matter. It's going to load up that object and they can take it into ZBrush and they can see exactly that object that you saved out. Now, obviously, it's saving geometry, so the more geometry you're saving, the bigger the file size is going to be. This is this is pretty low. This is 30,000 polygons, so pretty easy. And of course, just like when we saved it out, you want to position this. We had saved, we had it positioned here from the camera for our GIF, and we had it to the side for our PNG. If you're going to post it to a forum, it looks like GIF is probably your best bet. Um, PNG puts this big unsightly thing around it, so GIF seems like the better option there. It's going to keep all of your Z tool info, so your polygroups, your naming, your polypaint, your fiber mesh, your dynamic subdivisions, etc., is all going to be saved. Just like if you're going in here and saving a Z tool, it's going to save all of that information. Now, here's a caveat. When I went in here and said tool save as, and I saved it as a PNG or a GIF, that saved it as a tool. So I would, in order to load this up, if it was a Z tool, is going here to tool, load tool. However, if you went over here to file save as, and you saved it as a GIF, you're saving a Z project. Now if you go to, and I'm sorry I keep bringing this up, but it's still relevant. If you go over here to my ZBrush for ideation course, this is going to take you over the bare basics of like, well, what do you mean when you say document? What's a Z tool? What's a Z project? What are the differences? This playlist will take you through all that information. So if you go up here to file save as, you're going to have to tell the user, hey, you're going to have to go in here to file open to open up my GIF or tool load tool to open it up. I prefer to just go up here to tool save as because project might save more stuff than you really want. But I'll leave that up to you.